Hi everyone! So today we're going to be playing the Imperial Order demo. Uh, the demo for a Souls-like game coming out in a few months, probably around the end of the year. Um, that is very cool and has a lot to offer. So I'll be playing the demo and defeating the three bosses of the demo and, you know, talking about the game, what it has to offer and everything. So first of all, as you can see here, um, it's a game that we played uh, by two players, uh, both locally and online, which is an amazing feature. Um, it's Souls-like where you can play with a friend. Uh, and I think this is something I've been looking for for a long time and I've never found a game to actually do it in the way this game actually does it. So today I'll be playing single player, but the two player option is amazing. And if you're looking for a game to play with a friend, uh, definitely do uh, dive into the demo because just the three bosses of the demo are already amazing, as you'll soon see. So for this uh, very short playthrough, I'll just go over the game. I won't be doing uh, most of the NPC dialogues and the secondary quests that are already present in the demo because I want you guys to be able to discover it. So I'll just go over the bosses uh, and just try to give you a taste of what this demo is and this demo is only a taste of what the final game will be. So I hope uh, this short playthrough can make you guys want to try the demo and wishlist the game on Steam. My new construct of vine and bow. Beloved Zion, show me your potential. Find and end the pestilent horrors that threaten our beautiful garden. Bring them mercy. So here we are in the world of Paranal Order. So this demo has three bosses, the entire game has 15. And I'm gonna go over some of the key elements of the game. So it has a lot of the souls like mechanics but one very interesting mechanic is the one hit mechanic so as you will see very soon uh this game is very punishing because one hit and you are basically gone so all the bosses require a great focus because you have to understand the patterns and be able to make the boss hitless which is i think very fun um Another thing which is really great about this game, uh, and very impressive in my opinion, is that it's uh, obviously an independent studio, uh, but there are only four, so the entire game is made by four people. Uh, one artist, uh, one animator, a uh, pro programmer obviously, and a musician. And I love everything that they've come up with. The music is amazing, the world is amazing. Um, and I'm really excited for you to see uh, some of the bosses, because some of the bosses in the demo are some of my favorite bosses. And definitely, out of all the bosses like I've played before, uh, this game definitely is on my radar. Uh, and is, I think, the demo I've enjoyed the most out of everything I've played before. Um, so I'm really excited to see the end product. see the it's a plant-based horror game to some extent the design of the main character is very interesting and so now we have acquired the singer which is the singer sorry which is the main weapon um so i'm gonna go over some of the mechanics so you can do light attacks by simply moving um the controller depending like depending on where you're playing the keyboard uh and you can charge them you have the bar here so if you release the button in the yellow bar, it basically does a crit, which does a lot more damage. Um, as you can see here, it deals up to 80 damage when fully charged, uh, and a critical hits deals an additional 50% damage, which is a lot. So as you can see, I have Wisps, which is another one of the main mechanics of the game. Uh, they're used for the abilities that you unlock as you go, as you advance in the game, and they're also used for dash. So a dash obviously uh, makes you vulnerable, like the normal dash makes you vulnerable. And you can only use uh, three dashes before you have to wait for Wisp to regenerate. So as you can see here, my Wisp uh, are gone, and they just come back with the battle. As you go through the demo, you have everything that tells you about the characters. I, I've already played this demo multiple times, but it is very well done. 
As I said before, there's a lot of dialogues, a lot of actual quests in the demo, and even the full game. There's like, a, obviously in the full game there'll be a lot more, but I'll be actually avoiding most of the dialogue and most of the multiple quests, even though I know where everything is, uh, just so that you guys can actually um, discover a lot of stuff in the demo, uh, instead of me just scrolling everything. So we will now go to the first boss out of three. of this game that you can equip in your inventory. So you have memory slots and each instinct costs a different like memory cost, right? And you'll see in the in the game you'll, you'll be able to under, uh, unlock more memories uh, and more memory slots. Um, but now we've unlocked Thornbloom, which is actually a really good offensive uh, instinct. Your next attack deals bonus damage, stacks up to three times, deal 50 bonus damage per stack, and it retains a wisp. So basically, I'll walk up here and show you. You can have three charges, so now we only have three wisps. So basically, like we can only we have to use the lower so we want to charge it like uh, to the maximum. And when we press the uh, active instinct button, which depends uh, whether you're playing on keyboard and mouse or on controller, uh, it will increase the damage of your next weapon. So I'll show you here visually what it's like. You can see the weapon uh, having more thorns around it. And basically, now I have it fully stacked. It retains the wisps, so I can no longer dash because I char charge it max uh, to the maximum, so I use three wisps. But then, your next attack does bonus damage. And obviously, the more you charge it, the more damage it does. So as a, an offensive charm, it is a really good option. So we're now going to walk into the first main hub of the game. And this is where uh, a lot of the NPCs in the demo are going to be. Uh, and this is from where you can access the two remaining bosses of the demo. So now we're going to unlock another instinct, Luminary, which basically uh, is a very useful uh, instinct if you're discovering the game. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how it uh, works right now. Uh, it uses one wisp to indicate to you the, the path you have to follow uh, for the next bosses of this game, where you have to go. I'll show you right now. So use one wisp and it indicates you the pathways. So now I can see that the two remaining bosses are up here and down there. Which is very nice. But I'll unequip it, I'll unequip it because I'll, I don't want to mix it with Thorn Blue. So let's start with the boss who is up there. So again, like for example here there's a path to explore. But I'll let you all discover the demo for yourself and I'll just go directly to the bosses. So you have those statues in front of every bosses. Uh, there was one before, but I just skipped it. Uh, which gives you an idea of who you're gonna fight. And here, it's the Husk of the Night, concealing stolen power. So this, this uh, upcoming boss is, uh, in terms of design, one of the most creative bosses I've ever seen. And uh, to hype things up a bit, the transition phase really is amazing. So hopefully, 
uh, I'll be able to get you the transition phase soon enough and show it to you all. So I could be dashing, but I'm just trying to go a bit slow so that you can enjoy all the decor and the wonderful art uh, that, in the words of Van Hoof, the artist, uh, is meant to be a living painting, which I think he really succeeds to do. example of it. So you can cancel your attacks, so it's fundamental uh, when you approach any boss fights to look very well at the timings and to understand when you can and cannot attack because as you can see here if I start charging an attack uh, when the enemy is um, preparing one of his own, uh, it's basically instant death because the game is one hit. bosses obviously don't have that much HP and I have quite a bit of practice so when I focus it's a bit easier for me to do them but this is another amazing and you've seen most of the attacks but uh yeah this this boss really is one of my favorite his design is truly amazing and so as you can see we will now gain another instinct fallen strike fallen strike is a movement ability but also offensive ability that is very interesting um, so basically, it does 100 damage and projects you, but uses two wisps. So it's a form of movement, uh, which is useful on some enemies. Um, and it doesn't do that much damage, 100 isn't that high compared to spamming crits. But it is very useful uh, to move. I, I like to use it as a movement ability, more than a damage ability, but it has a lot of potential. Uh, and another thing, so this is the instinct you get at the start of the game. And it basically shows the bar, but once you get used to the bar and you understand the timing, you can basically become more consistent at doing the attacks uh, without the bar, which is more tricky, but saves you a memory uh, slot for other instincts. As you can see, there is quite a few, but a lot. Um, and the developers want to avoid using UI as much as they can, so this is why the, the bar obviously is necessary. Uh, for players who both like want to rather would rather focus on the enemies instead of the actual timers of the attacks, uh, but it's it's good that you can take it off. Uh, and for more, more experienced players, and maybe for speedrun attacks, it can be like you know it's a it's a instinct you might not use as much. Um, my loyal scion, you exceed all expectations. Your quest will bring balance to this world. 
so this this voice that we hear um, is supposedly uh, our mother. That's what the NPCs tell us, uh, as you'll see here. The monarch. That is the voice we're hearing. So here you can, you will like if you play them, you'll have more info. But actually, I'll play this. I'll read this dialogue. So as you can see, there's a we're in the form of dystopia, right, with a plague uh, that is taking over the world. This, this plague is a form of, mm, I suppose, plant-like uh, one, which little by little takes over the beings uh, that live here. So now we will go towards the uh, final boss of the demo, which is the hive mind. And once again, uh, I really like the Hive Mind's design. It's a really original boss, and I think this is one of the strongest um, strength <laughs> of this game. The, the boss designs are all very unique, and the, the world building is very unique as well. But it builds on concepts that have obviously been done before, but in a way that is so original. Um, it takes a very interesting uh, like, it, it offers a real interesting perspective on the uh, soul genre, and the story behind the game is, uh, in my opinion, really mesmerizing. And I hope what you see in the demo makes you want to actually play the full game and discover everything that's hidden behind, well, the demo, and behind your capacity to beat stronger and stronger foes. I hope the mic quality is good. I unfortunately only have a headset mic, which I know isn't optimal. Um, and I haven't prepared anything, so I'm improvising as I play, which is <laughs> not optimal to focus on the gameplay, but I, I suppose this uh, this video is more uh, an invitation for you to play the game rather than like gameplay, because I'm more focused on what I'm saying than the uh, So here we are at the hotline, and as you can see, the crit, well, when you're focusing and you have experience, the crit can be pretty consistent. hours of uh, demo behind me, so I've got all those buses many, many times before. It definitely helps to beat them as fast as I'm beating them. was the perennial order demo three buses out of 15 and please do play the demo there is so much more to discover uh, there is more things to get there is secondary quests already available just like within the few areas uh, available in the demo there is a lot of dialogues that i've skipped there is really a lot of things to discover uh, and again it's a game that can be played uh, in co-op so i really invite you guys to play with your friends because the co-op, I've also tested the co-op and it's amazing. Uh, it's very smooth. Uh, I've played with people thousands of kilometers away uh, and it worked very well. So definitely do go play the demo. I'll try to put a link to the game's discord um, in the description and you have the, we actually have the link here. And I'll also um, put the uh, Steam wishlist, uh, the, like, the Steam link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video and 
please do go share some love with the developers who are working so hard uh, on this game. It's that all the love they've poured into their work really shines through the game. Um, and I'm very excited to see uh, the state of the game when it releases. And I'm very excited to discover everything that the game has to offer and everything that uh, the four developers worked for so hard uh, for the past few years and are still obviously working for right now.